Yeah, good afternoon all. Uh, today, so I'm here to explain one company specific related coding questions. So that was asked in Infosys one year back. So this is a problem statements. So what is this problem? Generally, the program to obtain the given number is palindrome number or not by performing following two steps. Generally, we know as we all know that how to get a number is a palindrome number or not. So, but for this coding questions, there are two steps additionally given. One is step one and step two. One is a add number and its reverse and obtain that sum is palindrome or not. If yes, print that sum as an output. If not, repeat step one until num become palindrome. So, by using all these two steps, so we can guess the number is palindrome or not. So, given number is palindrome number is different code, different program, but this is some, some advanced coding questions on palindrome program, palindrome number program. But remember, every time we need to apply these two steps until you will get the number is palindrome or not. So, so take an example, I am explaining this coding question by taking some test cases, the test case 1, example 1, this is example, so example 1, in the example 1 take the number 124, so input is 124, so what is your expected output? So, what is our expected output? So, take this example input 124. So, what is the problem statement? What problem giving? Two steps it was given. The step one is up, uh, add a number and its reverse. So, means this is a number what 124 and you can add its reverse. What is the reverse? It's reverse 124 become 421 and you can add it, add both. You will get what? 545. Observe this sum is palindrome or not. If this sum is palindrome, you can print this sum is an output. So, what is the output? What is the output? What? 545. Hence, 545 is a palindrome. This is example 1. So, take another example. So, what is output? 545. So, stop this. Take an ex another example, example 2. In the example 2, take the number, take the input. What is the input? Suppose 754. So, tell me 754 is palindrome or not. The question is 754 is not a, is palindrome or not. That is not, uh, means uh, 754 is a palindrome or not a palindrome. This is not my exact question. So, I need to check this given input 754 is palindrome or not by performing two steps. What is the step 1? See clearly observe in the given statements, apply step 1. What is the step 1? Add number and its reverse. This is most important. So, this is very most important step 1. So, what is the step 1? Take any number and you can add and you can add the number and its reverse. For example, my number is 175. So, guess this 175 is a palindrome or not? That is a basic question. From this question, so what we expected, obtain this 175 is a palindrome or not by taking these two steps. For the step 1, add number and its reverse. What is 175 is a number? What is the reverse? 571 is a reverse. So, you can add both. What is the answer? 6, 14 and 7. 746. Observe 746 is a sum. Now, check what is the step 2? Obtain the sum is palindrome or not. We know what is a palindrome. Take any number and you can reverse it. You will get same. So, take this 7, 746 is a number. Observe the reverse 647 which is not same. Hence, 746 is not a palindrome. So, if not, if not, what the problem statement given? Repeat step 1. So, go to step 1. What is the step 1? Take the number, take the sum as a number. Now, 746 become number and you can reverse it. 647 and do addition. What is the result? So, 13 and this is 9 again 13. 
check this is a sum go to step 2 what is the step 2 obtain the sum this is a sum rather sum is palindrome or not so what is the palindrome reverse it you will get same so 1393 1393 is not a palindrome once why because 3931 is not same as 1391 so if not repeat step 1 what is the step 1 add number and its reverse this is a number and you can reverse it 3931 what is the answer 4 and 12 and 13 and 4 sorry 5 so 4 12 13 5 so we know 5324 is not a palindrome number so if not if not repeat step 2 what is the step 2 what is step 2 5432 is what this is not a palindrome hence 2345 is not same as 5432 so according to given problem statements apply the step 2 so you can add this number by reverse rating. so 3 2 3 4 5 what is the answer 7 7 7 and 7 so you can reverse it so this is a sum 7 7 7 7 you can reverse it you will get same number hence 125 what is the uh, what is the taking number 175 so 175 is a what is the answer take the number 175 what is the output 7777 so this is output so that is the reason take 754 so what is the output if you take the number so if you take the number 17 sorry 754 what is the answer double seven double seven this is a uh, output why because double seven double seven is a palindrome number so that is an example two what is example 754 if you take the number 754 you will get double seven double seven is an answer similarly take another example what is this example three so in the example three so take in number is four input input equal to four now what is your expected output so take any number but you should apply step one what is the step one add number and its reverse so if you add the if you add this number its reverse what is the answer eight so i told you so take the number what is the number four so if you reverse four now add both eight since eight is a palindrome so that is the reason so, if you take the number 4, what is your output? 8. So, the main intention of this program is part to guess the given number is palindrome or not or to find out the given number is palindrome or not by obtaining two steps such as step 1 is add number and its reverse and step 2 obtain that sum is palindrome or not. If palindrome, you can print as a output you can print that sum as output otherwise repeat the step one so this is my problem statements and i will execute this problem what i so far execute uh, what so what so far i explain algorithm i can implement in one programming language that is c languages clearly observed understanding my question So, first, so take a number, so include under files stdio.h and open the main function. So, in the main function, so collect the number from the user, which is number, and collect it into The number should be cut into number from the user. Now, here for this entire problem, so I need to implement two models. One is what step one do? Take the number and you can reverse it. So I need a reverse model, and after adding both two, there is there was a sum came, and I need to find out that sum is a palindrome or not. So that is the reason I can implement two additional models 
along with main module one is reverse module so int reverse module this is a function here i am always calling this function by giving value number and one more one more module palindrome int palindrome this is a another module this is also be need an argument of type number so there are two models one is reverse module and palindrome because i need to check every time the sum is palindrome or not by performing step 1 so in the step 1 what is the step 1 step 1 what is the step 1 add number and its reverse what is the step 1 step 1 is what add number number and its reverse and it its reverse so for that for the question is here very very important so i don't know at what time sum become palindrome or not if palindrome now i can print that sum as a palindrome because according to given step 1 what is step 1 clearly abjul add number and it is reverse so if you do this step 1 you will get sum and check that sum is palindrome or not if palindrome happily we can print that sum if not palindrome repeat step 1 but i don't know how many times i need to execute the step 1 i need to i don't know how many times i need to repeat the step 1 that is a reason my decision is i just open the while while uh, while condition by giving argument uh, by by giving condition 1 we know while of 1 means what always true remember whenever the control comes to while until condition becomes false the control keep on staying in the while but already mentioned while of 1 means always true it is highly impossible to make one as zero so that is the reason it is highly impossible to come out a while but my decision is my decision is i would like to come out of this while loop whenever the sum become whenever the sum become palindrome so that is my uh, important uh, task in the while so i need to do i need to check whether the sum is palindrome or not after completion of the step 1 so what is the step 1 what is the step 1 so simple so take the number and you can reverse it so don't worry i'm writing i'm calling reverse model by giving this number so that the control goes to control goes to reverse model so whenever control comes to this model this statements this statements very very important very very important so being execution of this statements this statements already we collect the number from the user and function main is calling reverse function so by giving this number so the control is searching where is reverse model i don't know reverse model i know only print up scan up some only built in functions it knows so that is a reason we people uh, we people mandatory to implement what reverse model so here here i am implementing reverse model in the reverse model we are reversing the given number so take the number i need one variable reverse equal to 0 this is a reverse log exclude this reverse model is used for only how to reverse a given number ask reverse model it will return you it will return you what the number i received that was reversed so take this reverse number that is a functionality of the reverse model so we know how to reverse it while num not equal to 0 not equal to 0 then what is the meaning if the number is not equal to 0 means there is a what some digits are there so rev is equal to what rev into 10 so you can add this what reminder you can add reminder so r is equal to, so num modulo division 10 so separate the number separate the digit into r separate the digit into r and you can add this reminder to rev into 10 rev into 10 so before this declare r as a local variable now after reverse after one time reverse into 10 is added to r then reduce the number as its coefficient number divided by 10 clear so so later i will explaining this model by taking example so don't worry so whenever the control comes to reverse model so it will return you it will return you what it will return you reverse 
reverse. Now, reverse function returns to the main, the value is reverse value. Now, after reversing the number, you take this result into sum. Understand? Where sum is local variable of main function, declare it in the main function. So, next. After completion, this is step 1. So, what I put in the comment, that is the meaning of this statement. So, what is the comment? Read this step 1. Add number and its reverse. So, observe these statements. We collect the number into num variable and we are asking reverse model to reverse the, this given number. Now, reverse model returns to the main reverse of this number. So, finally, this is number that was not reverse and this is here the number completely reverse. You can add both. So, you will get sum. Now, check the sum is palindrome or not. So, for that purpose, I am writing one model. What is that? Palindrome. Palindrome. So, take this sum and tell this sum is palindrome or not. So, for this purpose, I additionally I written a logic of palindrome model. So, we know. So, already we know how to check the given number is palindrome or not. So, how to check it? So, we know. So, whenever the number contain the digit, you can separate every digit and you can add that digit to sum into 10. So, you can repeat this step until num become 0. So, that is the reason I am using a while condition. In the while, I am checking number not equal to 0. If the number not equal to 0 means what? If the number not equal to 0 means what? There was a digit or there. So, take the digit into R, num modular division 10. How to collect the digit? How to collect the digit from the number? By modular division 10. So, num modular division 10, it will return you digit, collect it into R and you can take that uh, digit and, and you can take that digit and you can add it to sum into 10, sum into 10. So, initial before this, before this, take uh, make sure some value is 0, in uh, sorry, plus R. Now, take this sum into sum, variable sum. Af after that, keep on take the number as its coefficient. So, finally, finally at one iteration num become 0, so at that time number become 0. So, at, at that time uh, to take the number and it will check whether it is equal to sum or not. So, int, so I need some local variable one is temp I want and sum I want take some value is 0 and the remainder also. So, why, the, why temp here? Because, so after completion of my while loop, number become 0. Where is the original value of num? It become 0. So, so at that time, num value is not enough for me. So, before send this number value to the while loop and collect this into what? One temporary variable num. So, why I am taking this temp? So, after completion of this while, number become 0. So, there is no value to check it in the number. So, now after collect, after completion of this while, take the temp value which equal to sum. If, if both are same means what? Return, return 1. If not, return, if not, return 0. Anyhow, anyhow, from this palindrome model, from this palindrome model, main will receive either 1 or 0. We know. Whenever palindrome is response to main function with value 1, means what? Which is a palindrome. Check it. If, if, the, if the return value is equal to 1, what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? If the return value is, if the return value is uh, uh, 1, which is a palindrome. Am I right or not? Palindrome. If not, so later I will tell you uh, example of this code. If not, what is the meaning of this? means palindrome of sum returns 0 means which is not a palindrome. So, if not, what is a, 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 what my problem statement says? If the sum is not palindrome, repeat step 1. What is the repeat step 1? What is the repeat step 1? So, add number and its reverse. So, we already there in the number sum and take this sum as num equal to sum. Num become sum. Now, finally, after else, no more statements. Na. Control goes to while. Uh, there the condition is to again the same story. What the number? Sum. Now, it will call the reverse. So, 
రివర్స్ ఆఫ్ నమ్ బికమ్ రివర్స్ సో ఇట్ విల్ చెక్ అగైన్ ప్యాలిండ్రమ్ ఆర్ నాట్ బై కాలింగ్ ది ప్యాలిండ్రమ్ ఫంక్షన్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఎస్ ఇఫ్ దిస్ ప్యాలిండ్రమ్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ప్యాలిండ్రమ్ వాట్ ఐ వాంట్ ఐ వాంట్ ఐ వాంట్ సమ్ ఎస్ సో బిఫోర్ దిస్ బిఫోర్ రిటర్న్ వన్ బిఫోర్ రిటర్న్ వన్ when we conclude one when you when we conclude the number is palindrom if this condition is true so whenever this condition is true before return the value you just print what print of what percentage d sum so this is a problem statement is asking after printing this sum it will return one so whenever the one is written to why uh, palindrom of sum so there i got a palindrom there i got a sum become a palindrom so i don't want to i don't want to continue this while so i just come out of the while by using break statements so this is how to accomplish a uh, task according to given two steps obtain the sum is palindrome or not so this is my source code i just uh, explain i just executing this code before this i am saving this code and i compile this yes i got two errors error o undeclared i think at 40 49th line so not o zero yes no more errors i will check whether my program is responded to all the inputs or not so by executing it the first test case one what is the input 120 so what is the output so 545 so according to given problem statements so what is the input 124 what is the expected output 545 yes came now check another in another time so 7 i was given what is your expected output so what is expected output if you take this 7 take this 7 so take a problem statements take the number and you can reverse it getting same and you can add both so 14 so since some 14 is not a palindrome repeat step 1 so assume this 14 is a number and you can reverse it you will get 41 add both so 55 here the sum is palindrome hence output is 55 take a number 7 and print the output is 55 hence 55 is a palindrome numbers yeah definitely so this is output 55 and 754 754 so 754 what is 754 so so take a 754 explain what is your expected output by taking given problem statements so example what is the number so generally number is 754 so according to step one add number and its reverse so 457 what is the answer 11 11 then 13 am i right yeah uh, 12 exactly 12 so 12 double one now observe 12 double 1 is not a palindrome. So, take this number and add its reverse. 1, 1, 2, 1. So, what is the answer? Q, 3, 3, Q. So, 2 double 3, 2 is what? Palindrome. So, hence, if, if you get the sum is a palindrome, you can print it. Otherwise, repeat step 1. What is the step 1? Add number and its reverse. So, check it. Whether the output is the exactly. 2 double 2. 3 is a output like this. So, I will explain my code in the programming how input is processed in your program. So, 
first let us take the example let us take this code so we know as we all know that your c programming execution starts from main function so control comes to main function there the variable is num is initialized declared and sum is also be declared so actually for this uh, in this model i don't want sum also because i'm not using sum here so initially declare the num num is a variable which gets the memory in the system so after this the scan up statement is executed so what is the scan up function so scan up is a function that that help us to read the data from the user so that is the reason here i'm collect the integer type of input and kept it into variable number now number is ready just assume number is what is the number 7 what is the number 7 now yeah while will be executed we know while of one means always true we can't do anything once this condition is true control come inside of the loop so at what time control is come out, come out of the while so when one become zero so zero never never possible here i already mentioned the static number 1 so it never change at zero so which always true so that is the reason whenever the number become a palindrome so i'm come out of the while by using break statements so how break statement is executed at what time break statement is executed so i will tell you this by taking this number so once while is executed what is the number what is the step what, what is the state statement num plus reverse of num it already there is a number 7 here take this number and we are asking reverse of num so reverse of num there is a model there is a separate model there is a separate model so here this is a reverse model so actually the control comes to reverse model so whenever control main is calling reverse model so already we collect the number what is the number 7 now whenever control comes to reverse model so we are asking reverse model by giving the number 7 now reverse function takes 7 and this logic help us to do reverse of this number so we know so remain remain uh, uh, rev is initially zero initially zero take rev is a variable zero and remain reminder r so while num not equal zero 7 not equal to zero what is the reminder if you divided this 10 uh, if you divided this 7 by 10 the reminder is always what 7 so what is the rem reminder 7 then what is the reverse 0 into 7 so 0 into 10 0 into 10 0 plus r what is a what is rev rev is 0 into 10 0 what is the reminder 7 plus 7 means rev become 7 then what is the coefficient what is the number so number if you if you divide this uh, if you divide this number with the 10 what is the coefficient 0 num become 0 then control backs to while what is the number 0 0 not equal to 0 what is meaning condition false so control come out of the while we are returning rev what is the rev rev 7 now we know the function return type is integer means it will be return integer value to the main which is rev where rev is also type of integer return value type and return type should be same so now control back to while sorry back control back to main function with the reverse value so here according to this statement what is the value tell me in the number in the number in the number 7 is there in the reverse of num so number 7 is there so here both are having same number 7 plus 7 what is the sum what is the sum 14 am i right now check this sum is palindrome or not so we are we are writing uh, means uh, uh, here i am defining one uh, one function which is palindrome and ask palindrome model to say the sum is palindrome or not so when the main is calling this palindrome function control goes to palindrome model here i define a palindrome model so here what is the number what is the number so sum so in the number in the number value is 14 is there check this 14 is palindrome or not check this 14 is palindrome or not yes good so here i am taking three variables one is temp take same as num so temp is also having same number 14 then sum is initially 0 then r is 
so far i am not initializing any value now what is the temp temp become number now finish now take this while we are giving this uh, we are giving the number to the while to check number not equal to 0 if the number not equal to 0 means no more digits if no more digits i don't want that number so we are checking every time whether number is is not equal to 0 or not the first time what is the value of number 14 so condition is true since 14 is not equal to 0 here the 14 is there next what is the reminder number modulo division 10 14 modulo division 10 what is the reminder 4 next what is the sum value initially 0 0 into 10 0 so 0 plus what 4 0 plus 4 is what 4 so what is the sum value 4 next what is the number number mod, number divided by 10 so number become 1 now go to while check 1 is not equal to 0 yes true obviously 1 not equal to 0 now control comes to while what is the reminder reminder is 1 next what is the sum what is the previous sum 4 4 into 10 40 plus 1 41 sum become 41 then what is the number num become 0 then control goes to condition we are checking the number is 0 or not yes obviously number become 0 where i am writing the condition 0 not equal to 0 condition is false now control come out of the while we are taking the value of temp since number is almost 0 and we are using this temp whether this temp value is same as sum or not what is the temp 14 what is the sum 41 if both are same no condition is false so that is the reason control goes to else it will be written you 0 so when the control return 0 to the main here the value of palindrome if palindrome of if palindrome of sum is 0 whereas i am i'm 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 checking this value which is equal to 1 or not so what is the uh, why i am taking this value is equal to 1 if the value return value of 1 which is equal to 1 means palindrome so obviously 0 not equal to 1 so control goes to else so there sum what is the sum what is the sum 14 so 14 become 14 become number am i right so whenever the control uh, return 0 to the main function so palindrome of sum palindrome of sum is what 0 which is not equal to 1 hence control goes to else where the sum is where the sum is 41 then uh, 41 so where the sum is 41 so num become 41 now num become num become 41 num become 41 assume assume after after else no more statements na so control directly goes to condition where while of one is always true now control start executing the statements inside of the while so what is the number 41 what is the reverse of number what is the reverse of number we know already we we define a function reverse so ask reverse to reverse the number we know what is the reverse of the 41 so 41 is what 14 am i right or not now what is the what, what is the sum sum is 55 so 55 and ask palindrome function to check this sum is palindrome or not so according to given palindrome model so control goes to palindrome function so with the sum value there definitely 55 is a palindrome hence this function palindrome function return to main with the value 1 here the value will be 1 so before this return value 1 so check this clearly in the palindrome function in the palindrome function what is the number received what is the palindrome function received here what is the palindrome function received so number is 41 so sorry 55 number is 55 so palindrome received 55 and start execution of the statements line by line so where the temp is not initialized just i declared and sum is initialized with 0 and reminder r is also not initialized now after that the second statement temp become num what is the temp num what is the num value 55 now check this logic so number is not equal to 0 or not obviously 55 is not equal to 0 control comes to while statements what is the reminder reminder is 5 now take the sum value sum is initially 0 0 into 10, 10 0 0 plus 5 5 so collect it into sum again now sum become 5 then after that what is the number number is become coefficient so what is the meaning so 55 
So, 10th divide, uh, if you divided this number with 10, what is the coefficient? 5, 5 is 50. So, remainder is 5. Now, coefficient is 5. Now, you take this coefficient as a number, number become 5. Now, it will check, it will goes to while condition. So, checking condition, what is the number? 5. 5 not equal 0 as control comes to while. What is the remainder? Remainder is 5. Then, what is the sum? Already 5 is there, 5 into 10, 50, 50 plus 5, 55, some become, some become 55. Now, what is the number? So, number become 0. Then, control goes to what? While. So, where it is checking whether the num is 0 or not? Obviously, number value is 0, where the 0 not equal 0 is a condition? False. So, control come out of the while. So, checking, check this. Temp, what is the temp value? 55. What is the sum value? 55. Both are same now. Now, you can print that sum. What? Some value is 55 that will be displayed on the on the screen and then after that say it will be written 1. So, right. So, whenever the function returns 1 means which is a palindrome. So, when when the main function received 1 obviously which equal to 1 here I am writing this condition in such a way. So, why, why I am writing this condition? If the palindrome if the palindrome function receive or if the main function receive 1 from palindrome module which equal to 1 means that is a palindrome there I just executed break because I got an information whether the sum is uh, I got an information that sum is a palindrome I already printed so I need to stay even one minute also even one second also in the while loop that is the reason I am executing break we know whenever break break is executed you know break is what a jumping or a breaking statements in the C languages so when the when the when the uh, once break is executed it will abnormally terminate from the while. Why? Because so whenever break is executed, that meaning is what already I, I found the sum is a palindrome. So how do you conclude that if the palindrome of sum is value of value of palindrome of sum equal to one means break means palindrome. I got a palindrome. So once break execute, once break execute, the control is come out of the while. Now after that, my main function is close. So that is the reason <coughs> I am explaining same what I am explaining so far I am executing the same way. So, compile it no errors and execute it. So, give some 7. So, 55. So, output is 55. So, understanding this logic. So, very very important recently so many companies are asking this question I mean asked this question. So, please note down this question and understand. So, this is my entire source code. So, take this source code and you have to implement uh, in your own way and you can execute this program, you will get a solution. So, thank you.